everybody welcome back to my channel this is the cookbook kitchen the home of cookbook recipes with your one and only carol like i say this is a recipe where we take out recipes from different cookbooks different authors and today it's a continuation of last week's video friday's video hmm. and the video came from this book everyday law lectin cookbook by claudia and we were making what last week last week we made um last week we made this we made this duka spice and nut mixture so in today's video we are going to see what we are going to use this duka for what are we going to use it for how can you use it in the book it is used to make so many things i've seen it make some eggs it is also used to make some burgers but today we are going to use it to make some keto spicy keto crackers with duka that's what the book calls it but uh there's no there's no picture i don't see a, a photo for this spicy keto crackers so the responsibility is upon us to give this recipe a photo you know let me read a little bit what the book says about this particular recipe it says that these crackers go with everything another thing is it adds a little kick to a meal and the book continues to say that they are a perfect snack on the go this particular recipe it's a keto version of those who follow diets low in carbs guys let's see what we are working with today welcome to my video welcome back to my channel i have some water over here i have some almond flour some flax seeds we are going to grind them so don't worry and the book is very particular it says for a lighter taste and color use golden flax seeds so these are my golden flax seeds this is my duka the one that we made last week here i have some spices oregano oregano what you call it i have some thyme i have some rosemary i have some sumac i have some cumin then we have some pink himalayan salt and some black pepper so we start by making our flaxseed meal so here is our flaxseed and we put it in the grinder So here it is this batch is enough the book asks for a particular measurement as always check the exact measurements in the book so the next step is grinding our duka and nut mixture you need to finely grind it because the duka by itself is a very coarse but this particular recipe needs it to be like this so let's continue so we need to mix our almond flour, our flax seeds, our pink Himalayan salt, and our duka. So we mix them. I forgot to mention that we are going to use some olive oil. So we need to put olive oil at this stage. We we'll add our spices. And the cumin, the sumac, the oregano. So we need to add our water a teaspoon at a time. Then as you add a teaspoon at a time, you mix. So here is my dough guys. As you can see, and it's smelling really, you can smell the duka. Whoa, smells really nice. Now, I have some water remaining. So, I believe the point of putting one teaspoon at a time, will instead of pouring the whole amount of water, is to make sure that you get the dough to the required stickiness. Because I have so much water remaining, and I don't think I need to put it here. So follow the instructions. One teaspoon at a time. One tablespoon at a time. Sorry. One tablespoon. If I've been saying teaspoon, it's a tablespoon. So the book says we need to form it into a bowl. And we let it rest for around five minutes. Whoa. Look at that. So see you after five minutes. Mm. Once you open this paper, this thing is smelling nice. We need to place our dough on a parchment paper. 
and then we'll press it with our hands to get a rectangular shape then we'll use this other parchment paper to put on top and roll the aim here is try to uh, to get a rectangle shape Roy. Roy, 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 roy. rectangle rectangle please come together work with us rectangle shape i think that's okay put our parchment paper we're going to roll as much of the rectangle shape as possible yo guys yo yo let's see if that's possible i love turning it Rectangle, very more oval than the rectangle. Yeah, yeah. And we work together. Let's work together, please. Let's work together. Hmm. So we've not arrived. Arrived. Achieved eh? rectangleness. We've tried. Eh? I think I have really tried. Look at that. Look at that. That was smooth, eh? So you need to use a pizza cutter or a knife to make rectangle, rectangles or squares. So let's see. So the last step is poke is poking some holes with a fork, and this will help them look like crackers and cook evenly. There. There. Three times is enough. Where? Tell me this is work. Here we are, guys. Some are running away, but it's not a problem. So we need to bake them for 20 minutes. Then we'll turn off the heat and leave them in the oven for another five minutes. So guys, our spicy keto crackers with duka nut mixture are ready. Whoa, they smell really, the smell is intense, it's strong. Mm. Time to taste to give our verdict, time to taste to give our verdict. Mm. It's crunchy. So guys, whoa, the word spicy is correct. These things are spicy, but not spicy, no. When it comes to the spices, you're supposed to use half a teaspoon or one, half a teaspoon or one teaspoon of the spices that we listed. And um, I can't say they're that spicy. They're spicy, but not extremely spicy. So I, I believe when you put one teaspoon, the level of spiciness will be a little bit higher. But they are nice so my people don't forget to like to share to comment and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye and god bless really nice